then I tell him, stick that rubble up your ass. I've got my honor. You sure are a canny lad. Hello. I'm on my break. Come back later. I sent him, Auntie Clara. We're doing an investigation together. You're always up to something, Piotrusz. What investigation? What are we doing here? What do you mean? The aunties are the key to the world of information. They know and hear more than anyone else in Povishle. Are you his actual aunt? You really are a tourist. Of course they're not. But I prefer them to the real ones. They always help me somehow when I'm in trouble. They'll dress a wound, give me an apple, or a beer. Piotrus, Piotrus, nothing gets by you. You remember that lady's gloves? I said I liked them once, and he brought them to me the next day. Well, just say the word. What do you know about the fisherman? All I know is he's in jail. Finally. This cursed place can breathe a little. He's not in jail, though. We're looking for the real one. Piotrus, is that the investigation you're playing? What do you mean, playing? We're both dead serious and committed, Auntie. You better watch out. You'll get in trouble. What next, partner? It's not over yet. Now, we split. You go grill the other aunties, and I'll see you later. After dark, some of them work here, and others in the streets. Remember to tell them I sent you. Piotrek Justa, that is. And ask better questions this time. Watch him. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. Who was the last victim? You must know their name. I do, but you don't have anything to convince me. Is there anything else? I want to see the painter. You must be joking. Until the fisherman's trial, not even his own mother can see him. Is there anything else? I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids have stolen it. I already have a few of these. Because of it, I know, let's call it, the scent of the murderer. The thermotage could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation, and then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Where is it? Hmm. 
Maybe I will try later. Damn it. You again? You are looking for trouble, I swear to God. What about that copper outside? I don't think he's a local. He captured the fisherman, so he earned respect in the neighborhood. One more word, and we will take you out. I'm a friend of Piotr Augusta. Hey, do you hear the kind of names being tossed around here? You better find some friends your own age, pervert. Get that fancy pants. Anybody else got a problem with me? I thought so. Just no brawling, please. What can I get you? It's nice in here. I like the decor. Why the moonshine? It sells best. We've just run out. Have anything else to say? I'll be off now. Good riddance.
Can't your legs get in sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Good evening. Cloud behind the corner, five copies. Naked in a bed, fifteen. A blower will cost you three. Unless you just want to watch something, then it's two. If it's something else you're after, you can fuck off, or I'll call for help. Piotr Kiusta sent me. He's a nice kid. Piotr sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll give you a discount then. No, um, that's not why I'm here. I just want to talk. Well, fire away before someone is on to us. The fisherman. Have you heard anything about him? Only the things everyone's been prattling on about. But if it's information you want, buy yourself a newspaper. To copy us. Any other questions? Or should we get to the point? I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. Good evening. Good evening. What do you want? I bet he's a customer. Do you want to put him off? How do I know if he's a customer or not? Bad things happen in this weather. You're right. What brings you here? What do you know about the fisherman? What an odd question. Unless... God, it's him. He came to kill us. But they just got him. That freak who painted corpses was the fisherman. He created inspiration for himself. Right? Take it easy. I was sent here by Piotr Kiusta. Somehow I don't believe you. Maybe you got him too, fisherman. Piotr introduced me to Auntie Clara too. I assure you they are both alive. I just want to talk to you. Well... If you hang around with Piotr, you can't be the fisherman. Especially if you aren't that handsome. This is Auntie Clementina, and you can call me Auntie Anastasia, like the Tsar's daughter. But we don't know anything about the fisherman, and we'd rather not talk about him. I'll be off now. To bed. I felt safer with you around. the joints in Povishla, you walk into this one again. I have to go now. It's true.
Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go or have you changed your plans? Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Who are you, my golden Slytherin friend? Victor? Victor! Victor! Can you hear me? Yes, uh, of, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Viper's Den, brother. Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there.
Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Szulski. Irina Orova of those Orovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Szulski. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. I've heard a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Come now, we won't tell anyone. Or maybe I shouldn't. Do you like being a tease? Forgive me, ladies, for teasing you like this. Here's the secret. Come on, we're dying to know. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages, wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulsky? In exchange for my discretion, I need another secret of yours. That's the only way to keep everyone in check. What should I choose? Our fathers don't know we're here. There you are. How naughty. None of your fathers know? None. Especially not Sophia's. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let her come. I'm very satisfied with this trade. And what now? I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge? Don't worry. But now you do. That trick with the cage. You've impressed me. I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. That's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumyantseva has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? That I'd like to see. What did we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Skawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Scowan and I are practically on first-name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shulska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Skawan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? My name is Viktor Shulski. Well, there we have it.
And I don't like what I just heard, especially about my sister. And uh, what are you going to do about it? I'm afraid we've got a few things to explain to one another, preferably through violence. I don't think so, Mr. Shulsky. Where are you from? You're among polite society, not cattle. I'm not the only one itching for a brawl, am I? What? Is one guy more than you can handle? Let's take this out to the forecourt, gentlemen. Sergei, my friend, anything for you. Mr. Shulsky? I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? If I may, there's one question niggling at me. How did you get so many scars? Why do you ask? I've heard that Russian officers in training have drunken duels with sabers after hours. Mm, no. A very peculiar custom, if that's true. So where did those scars come from? I've led an interesting life. I could ask you the same question. I'm passing the time. Ah, oh, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. A doctor, thaumaturge, or policeman could say the same. Your interest flatters me. Who knows? Maybe the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. 
and someday we'll even be friends. How well did you know my tree? We enjoyed talking and lending one another a hand. The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. I'm not worthy. My sister brought me along out of pity, I think. And so, Miss Ligia is here too. Why do you ask? No reason. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. How do you know all these things? People talk, I listen. That's all. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Ones that were good for your family. Perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shumsky. Yes, I'm sure. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Maybe that's enough. What do you think? The trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. <laughs> Have you come here to torment me? Unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I think your idea of pretending to be a medium is fantastic. It sounds like I impress you. How many people know? Is that a threat? Your serum is quite impressive. Hmm. Flattery will get you nowhere. Madame, you're being impolite. What about a little competition? We'll see who wins. I'll pass. I noticed a wild saluter here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? Because I'm warning you. What do you know about this saluter? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the flaw. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. <laughs> the person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? That's not such a ladylike tone, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that Sadita. <laughs> you mean yourself. So, should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulski, but you can call me Viktor. Now, Mr. Shulski, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work.
here you are. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockle's horns. Was I being too subtle? I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes? What's that? You've lost your mind. It's true. I'm completely nuts. I can't tell what's true and what's a bluff, apart from Puhalski's horns. A dangerous oaf! Good luck with your business, miss. Yeah, yeah. Now I can forget about anyone wanting to say a word to me. You've always got me. Listen, as far as those two are concerned, I just didn't like how they were treating you. I'm used to it, Victor. Their words don't bother me. I can cope. Any progress with Svetlana? Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. Sofia Skawan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skawan can't stand thaumaturges. I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutor that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Remember those fairy tales Mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. That's why I haven't made up my mind. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I heard a certain conflict took place in the forecourt. Hey, they started it. I was just defending your honor. Again? I'm going. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. 
I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? How is it being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. And believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of this season? I'll be sure to seek them out. This evening, Sofia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you. Both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. Svetlana Piotrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's séance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. I felt something. Where is it?
I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. Victor. Ask. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da. The Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. The Ochrana? It stands for Atelenie po ochranieniu abszczestwiennoj bezpasności i pariatka. In other words, the secret police. I know what they are. I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city, but most importantly, the court. And me and my Suarez too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. I see. You two had an affair. <sighs> two grown-up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But romance wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. I didn't have the chance to get to know him as a person, much less one who'd show such emotion. You mean love, da? Was it love? I miss him, that's all. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? <sighs> that large travel chest, you changed your mind about whether or not to pack. Right then I wanted to escape badly, but that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls, and on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Your feelings of guilt? Do they have something to do with the Romanov court? With the whole empire. Ruski Mir in Podavai. We, the establishment, perceive the need for change. We want reform. The Colossus is already teetering, but if it falls... La guillotine, mon chéri. But I want to live, Victor. Ideally, closer to the West. Tsarina Alexandra gave you those pearls. You two are close. I am her confidant. I could call her my friend. I see how much she devotes to her family and the nation. Yet, something has changed. Where was my father in all this? Willingly or otherwise, he was part of the establishment that wanted change and could see revolution before it arrived. The Ochrana knew about you, hence the note. They must have noticed something. Isn't it time you told me why you really came to my soirée? Do you think the Ochrana killed my father? Your father was crushed by a building. I don't think that's how the Ochrana works. Perhaps you're right. What do you intend to do now? Nothing. The Suarez will continue. Society has come to expect it. Everything will stay the same. I myself shall manage. I hoped you might know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? There's nothing there. My dear boy, I know nothing about Stanisław's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I will not let you leave empty-handed. 
I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. No, thank you for listening. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. For you, sir? Our dear madame is fooling around and thinks you can scare me off. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Did I see that you've met this madame person? Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Absolutely. As sure as the thermometers can be. I felt what he felt when, uh, well, you know. Oh, stop! That's disgusting! Quickly, change the subject. I'm going. Shosuke, don't play with me. I saw one of your posters. You look different in it. Really? 
the illustration doesn't reflect reality. How should I take that? No one warned me that I should get in costume for the party. Ugh, I beg your pardon. I'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests. Impudent. Just a bit uncouth, I'd say. Do you know the hostess well? Will you leave me alone if I say I don't? No. Svetlana Pietrovna invited me, and I am doing my best to meet her expectations. Let's keep out of one another's way. Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoo! Maybe my dead father's? If you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Now we'll never know. I'll disappear. For now. Sometimes it's good to let things go and leave other people in peace. For your own benefit. I think I'll take up this gauntlet. Mr. Shulsky, may I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the Thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point. To keep violating his wishes? First, please tell me the rules of this game. Of course, I'm being silly. After all, you've been away a long time. It's simple. Each player, in turn, must admit a truth or accept a dare. Anyone who doesn't must drop out of the game and thereby loses. And I don't like to lose. I would guess that to you, a dare would be the lesser of two evils. How very perceptive. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. Your companions don't have anything against a little ruse like this? It's not deception, it's resourcefulness. In theory, there's no rule against asking for help. Please, don't make me back, Mr. Shulsky. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I'll wait anxiously for your return. I'll take a look around. Getting impatient. What have you found out? Maxim only has one thing on his mind Miss Irina. Oh, I knew it! Might Irina return his interest? Miss Irina would like to get to know Maxim better, but she keeps hesitating. She never told me. Some friend she is. 
Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now, time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? Maybe we should not reveal all our secrets to one another right away. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sofia and I must leave for the seance. Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. Therefore, Veles chased Sofia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? Unless you count sending her admirer on a deadly trip to Africa. It's no coincidence she focused on me. After all, old Scowon hates Thaumaturgis. The little scamp. If I want to discern that little scheme as for, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact with his souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> Your face. Is everything all right, my child? <sighs> Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Oh, is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Your devotion goes unnoticed, and you know full well why that is. I do. I am your father's choice, not yours, aren't I? Quiet, please. Well... This will make your companions happy. Making fools of people, heaven forbid. Sit down. My poor heart. Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. There is one soul I'd like to summon. Whom do you mean? Teofil Skalski. Does that name mean anything to you? The poor man drowned on the way to Africa, didn't he? No, it wasn't like that. I didn't know he would be killed. Are you planning a similar fate for Sergei? All this just to get under your father's skin? So what if it was? Do you know what it's like to live in the shadow of a cold, absent father? Rings a bell. Is it such a sin to want to be loved? The powers you and your kind have are terrifying. That's why people hate you! 
That's why my father is cracking down on you. All that matters is I have what I wanted. Don't you dare. <sighs> You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Tell me, what don't I understand? Do you know who she is? Who her father is? You're right. Sophia Scowon was meant to have her floor removed, discreetly. But I suppose it's too late for that, isn't it? Someone hired you to remove the floor from Sophia. Who? Take a guess. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. It's also too late to stay silent. What's done can't be undone. Sophia Scowon is now the center of the scandal. I have this under control. I know how to give Sophia's story a happy ending. I hope we don't all come to regret it.
wait until Rasputin sees you. Then you'll stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. Sofia? Did you enjoy the show? My best so far. So, I suppose now is the time to applaud. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Let it sink in that you're free, finally. Neither your father nor your environment define you. Everyone heard those atrocious words from my lips. I can't undo that. But you're right. You freed me. I know what it means to live in the shadow of a father, but that's all behind me now. What did you do? I met someone who helped me undo the mistakes I made because of my father. It sounds like that was someone very dear to you. What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. Farewell, Viktor Shulsky. See you. No, I don't think so. Wait, it was you Mr. Puchowski was talking about. What was he saying? That you're a bore, a troublemaker, and a pest. Let's go. Sure. 
Doctor, don't scare me like that. Mr. Sulski, are you all right? I think it's time for us to go. I'll snug us a carriage. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konieczkin. Viktor. Thank you. That's very polite. Thank you for an interesting evening. Are you angry? I need to rest. I'm sorry it all turned out like this. Not tonight, please. Konieczkin is up to something. Victor, if not for him... He really helped us tonight. I don't want to talk about it tonight. Good night. I am about to go deaf. Sure is noisy. Hello? 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 Victor? Speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? I've rediscovered something so like a comfortable bed. The city has changed a lot, as have we all. The most important thing to me right now is retrieving my father's grimoire. Your grimoire? I wish you luck, boy. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. And how are you, uncle? I wanted to... Uh, need... I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? All right, so where should we meet? Remember where I took you kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe we can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you. Mr. Shitsky. Is Rasputin here? Sadly, yes. It's good to see you. Although, I think I can already see what you need. Let's not waste time. How about that? I look worse than I feel. So then, what brings you here? I wanted to ask you for another session. 
Let me share something about your pace in hunting for salutors. Aren't you losing yourself too much in it? Again? Is there something you want to tell me? Do you not want to help me anymore? Nonsense. You can always count on me. I'm just worried. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. He's remarkable. I... I can't <laughs> tame him. You can, and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Calm yourself. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. Have you seen the future again? I don't know if it's the future. It could just be some symbols I don't know how to interpret. Heavy clouds drifting over battlefields, reaping a deadly harvest, and these faceless beings walking among strangely contorted bodies, and the ship, unsinkable, yet it went down with thousands on board. I feel as though I could have stopped it. Did you watch me sleeping? You still drool. I think I shouldn't abuse the Nadarzhinsky's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Svetlana is causing herself trouble. I don't remember talking to you about Svetlana. Maybe that's an effect of our treatments. I hope everything comes back to you. What was this gossip, may I ask? Nothing that would sully her in your eyes. She intrigued me. I'd like to meet her. And you know, I think she needs help. Help? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you. Until next time.